प्लीज क्लिक ऑन सब्सक्राइब बटन एंड क्लिक ऑन बेल आइकन फॉर मोर इंटरेस्टिंग अपडेट्स ऑन सिविल इंजीनियरिंग कॉन्सेप्ट इन दिस वीडियो आई विल एक्सप्लेन यू डिजाइनिंग ऑफ कैंटी लिवर स्लैब बिल्डिंग विच इज ऑफ जी प्लस नाइन स्टोरेज बाई यूजिंग ई टाइप सॉफ्टवेयर सो आई वॉज ऑलरेडी डन माई मॉडलिंग प्रोसेस एज वेल एज योर अनालिस प्रोसेस इन माई प्रीवियस वीडियो इन दिस वीडियो आई विल एक्सप्लेन यू हाउ टू डिजाइन दिस रेस्पेक्टेड स्ट्रक्चर बाई यूजिंग ई टाइप सॉफ्टवेयर सो आफ्टर अनालिस प्रोसेस कंप्लीटेड इनिशियली वी नीड टू क्लिक ऑन द डिजाइन ऑप्शन हियर सो इन दिस वी नीड टू सेलेक्ट द कॉन्क्रीट फ्रेम डिजाइन सो इन द कॉन्क्रीट फ्रेम डिजाइन वी नीड टू सेलेक्ट द व्यू रिवाइज प्रिफरेंसेस so initially we need to check the data as per is 456 2000 code so it will be consisting of design code multiple reduction uh, case design number of interaction curves etc okay so here i am selecting okay option here so after that again we have to click on design option concrete frame design in this we need to select the rebar section rules for the columns okay so it will open your respected options here like this which it contains non seismic requirements detailing and seismic requirements detailing so for this respected structure we are consider the seismic loading condition for analysis of this respected g plus 9 story cantilever slab building so that's why we need to take the data which is related to the seismic requirements only so in this i am taking smallest bar size will be of 16 mm and largest bar size is of 20 mm so after that we have to take the twice bar size so here i am considering it as 12 mm bars and we have to consider the largest bar size also just i am taking it as 16 mm so after that we have to select the minimum spacing and maximum spacing so here i'm taking minimum spacing is 50 maximum spacing is 300 click on okay so after that again we have to click on design option in the same way we have to select concrete frame design so now we have to select the rebar section rules for the beam section so it will open your respected detailing for non seismic requirements on the top detailing for seismic requirements on the bottom so here again it will be consisting of top bar bottom bars like this so here i'm taking uh, top bar will be consisting of let us consider it as 16 mm bars and bottom bar will be consisting of 16 mm bars and uh, just i'm taking largest bar size as 20 mm bars and uh, largest bar size is of 20 mm bars and prefer bar size just i'm taking it as let us consider it as 18 mm and this is also just i'm taking it as 18 mm and at the top just i'm taking it as four number of bars and at the top for this four number of bars again i'm selecting the stirrups which is related to the 12 mm bars and largest bar size will be of 16 mm and this respected maximum spacing just i'm taking it as 300 minimum spacing is 75 click on okay option so after that we have to click on design option again again you have to select the concrete frame design so in this we need to click on start design check option so it will start designing of your respective structure as per is 456 2000 code so here my horizontal lines are moving uh, for the different floors and in vertical horizontal direction so after that we have to click on design option here again you have to select the concrete frame design so in this we need to select the design or display design information option so it will be consisting of design output as per longitudinal reinforcement so here i am taking it as shear reinforcing section click on apply click on okay so it will show your respected percentage of steel required for the different types of the members like this so after that we have to click on detailing option so initially we need to select the detailing preferences option here so here we have to select the standards and the material quality so here i am selecting units will be in metric and dimensions will be in meter and section property thickness will be in millimeter rebar spacing is millimeter load will be in kilometer so after that we have to select the rebar length in meter and the slab area will be in square meter cubic meter concrete volume and this is tons click on okay so after that we have to click on detailing again so here we have to click on start detailing option so it will design your respected uh, structure as per is 456 code so it will show you your respected output file as per the design considerations so after detailing process the center line diagram will be shown here like this so click on drawing sheet component select standard details so this is the list of drawings available for this respected design and this is the beam elevation section for the 3s section so beam section a beam section b this is beam section c section so select typical concrete section this is a typical concrete section for the elevation section select the column a so this is the column a typical concrete section for this respected building so after that we have to select the floor slab details so this is the slab details for, for the floor framing plan so again you can select any one of the slab here so here i am selecting beam detailing option select concrete beams 
schedules and tables select uh, this respected option so this is the each and individual calculation that is required for the different types of the beam so here just i am taking some randomly beam number 2 let us consider it as 11 c b2 is the beam id which consisting of your respected span number of 1 2 3 4 here and this is the distance for this respected beam and this is the dimensions for the beam so for this respected beam it will be consisting of two bars at the section of uh, c so this is the longitudinal section and this is the the lateral ties reinforcement section so it will be consisting of your different types of the reinforcement section at the different uh, longitudinal bars so for this respected members so it will be consisting of each and individual calculation sheet for this respected beam section so again we have to check the uh, zone uh, stir up section reinforcement for the different types of the zone so it will be consisting of zone a zone b zone c so for this respected section three bars is required at 10 mm bars uh, at the top reinforcement for the zone a so it will require 16 mm bio bars 10 center to center distance for this respected zone c so this is a typical elevation section for the 2a section and 3a section so after that we have to select the concrete detailing option select any one of the option here select the concrete framing plans so click on concrete layout option so this is a center to center distance between the each and individual column for this respected section select the column layout here so this is the column layout for the respected ground story so click on schedules and tables click on concrete schedule so this is the concrete schedule for this respected section it will be consisting of your reinforcement bar size and it will be consisting of the size of the column is 350 cross 500 section so it will be consisting of 12 number of bars which is consisting of 16 mm dia plus 4 number of bars 20 mm dia which is contain your reinforcement section uh, is here 3219 mm square so this is the reinforcement value each and individual calculation sheet for the respected lateral ties and reinforcing bars main bars for this respected column section so after that we have to see the reinforcement cage views for this respected uh, beam design column design select any one of the beam here double click on it so click on this respected values so this is the beam reinforcement details for this respected section it will be consisting of your reinforcement bars like this for this respected section so this is the reinforcement cage view for this respected uh, g plus 9 story cantilever slab building so after that we have to check the reinforcement cage view for the column section in the same way select this respected option select any one of the column so double click on it click on this respected option so this is the reinforcement cage view for this respected section it will be consisting of your respected number of bars and diameter of the bars like this for this respected column sections okay so this is the reinforcement cage view for the column section and this is the reinforcement cage view for the beam section okay so after that we have to reload the report for this respected c plus 9 story cantilever slab building so for that initially we need to click on reports option click on summary report so it will load your respected summary report for this respected uh, g plus 9 story uh, cantilever slab building here so it will load your respected report here like this so it will be consisting of each and individual calculation sheet and each and individual uh, movement values for this respected g plus 9 story cantilever slab building so depends upon this respected values we need to design this respected structure okay so this is the process uh, designing of your respected g plus 9 story cantilever slab building by using etap software so if you have any queries about this respected video please text me your questions in the vlog comment box i will try to give the answer for that respected question thank you